I'm Lewis McCall, and this is my wife, Lenora. I learned back in 2002 that God can turn things around. I learned that from reading and watching Gloria Copeland and her ministry when she spoke about 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8. And I learned to use that as a fundamental uh, scripture for me on a daily basis. In 2004, I had some investment property that I sold and I gave a large amount of money to my church. I received the first notice of audit in 2006. They went back one year to 2005 questioning my donations. I got married in 2006, so they ended up not only auditing me, but my husband. But not only did we receive the audit notice from one office, we received notices from IRS, Washington, D.C., Richmond, Virginia, Andover, Massachusetts, Kansas City, Kansas, DeKalb, Georgia, and one or two other places. We got caught up in the IRS loop. That began things. And then in successive years after that, of course we were married then, uh, they refused to acknowledge anything that we gave to KCM or other ministries or our church. So it's like they considered us to be untruthful. It was very frustrating, but we kept holding on in faith and praying and declaring every day that we did not owe them, they owed us, and we used 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8 because we believed God would turn it around. The easy thing would have been to settle with IRS and say, okay, we agree, and just give in to them. But we knew we hadn't done anything wrong, that there was a paperwork mistake. We would see commercials on TV saying, you got tax problems? We can negotiate it down to a lower amount for you. But uh, Lenora would, would say, we don't owe them, they owe us. And we, we stood our ground. We continued to stand in, in faith, uh, which is difficult when all of the, uh, uh, the indicators seem to be against you. <laughs> I call KCN Ministries a lot. And so I just said, I'm just going to lay it all out there and put my trust in God's Word and just keep listening to God's Word, reading His Word, and not let anything else cross my eyes. The six offices that audited us said we owed in excess of $40,000 because they can continue to add penalties and interest. and interest. And it was in August of 2011 that we received the, the letter from the IRS saying that they were going to take our house in about 10 days. And that's when we really, really prayed. And then it was February 1st, 2012, when we see the letter from Myra saying they're going to send us refunds for several years in excess of $13,000. And then we got another letter saying they need to send us uh, $1,300. And then another letter saying they owed us an additional $500. So I would say it was about $14,000. $15,000 that the IRS gave us. And the remarkable thing is, our tax person said the IRS really does this. The whole time we continued to decree, as Gloria Copeland taught us, decree 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8, and saying every day out loud that we did not owe, that they owed us. And we just stood on the truth. We would not stop tithing. We would not stop giving offerings. And we just believe God. You take God at His word. You, you uh, believe in His character, that He doesn't lie, that He's reliable and trustworthy. So when you are exposed to it and you see what God can do, and you can see things that are literally miracles in front of your eyes, you cannot doubt Him. God is real.